Hello, everybody. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about geometry today. Um, hopefully you've been doing the activities that I asked you to do on mathgames.com. It's on Clever. There was also a link in Remind. Um, there were a couple of videos to watch about geometry. I put on a YouTube video about geometry around my home. Amelia showed us some really cool pictures from her house where she found some objects and wrote on index cards what they were. I just shared a video that, um, a picture, sorry, that Jordan made um, on his window with tape and paint with lots of geometric figures that look like stained glass. So that was super cool. And, um, so I hope you're finding geometry around your house. We're gonna do a smart board lesson together today. And I'm gonna share that with you right now. Let's get this into full screen. There we go. All right, so geometry is shapes like you've been thinking about your whole life, but it's also about shapes called plane figures. And those are three dimensional and they have more than one um, side to them. Like this rectangular prism down here, which has more than one side. Um, this rectangle is a plane shape because it's just a plain old shape. All right, under my head here, let me move hey. Under my head here, we have a triangle, just a plain old shape. And then we come down to the circle. Again, it's a plain old shape. It's different from a sphere because a sphere is three-dimensional. It is a space figure because it takes up space. It's solid. And then we have our square, which cannot be confused with, well, hello, with our cube, because that is a three-dimensional shape, solid figure. All right, plain dimensional shapes and space figures for that matter have sides. That's where the line segments come together. And the vertices, just a fancy name for the corners, is where those lines come together. So we have the vertices and we have lines. And that's what we're concentrating on this in, in this lesson. All right, so here we go. Guess the mystery figure. It's not gonna be that difficult, is it? All of these, because they are just plain figures, only have the flat shape. So everything's the same. The sides are equal to the corners, to the vertices. So the one that has all four equal, yep, it's the square. The three, mm -hmm. triangle, the five. Do you know the name of this shape? That is a pentagon. There's also a pentagon in Washington, D.C. Yep, because it's got five and it's shaped just like that if you look on Google Earth. All right, four unequal would be our friend the rectangle here and you're like, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. The top and the bottom are equal. Yeah, but they're not the same as the two ends. So only four equal sides would be our square, but if they're unequal like this, the top and the bottom are okay, but the, and the sides are okay, but they're not all the same because you just took up a square and you stretched it. So it has all the same numbers, but they're not equal. And the last one is this fella over here with six. Do you know the name of that shape? It's called a hexagon. And a hexagon is made with six sides and six vertices. And the way I always remember this is because hex has an X in it, and so does the word six. So they go together, six, hex, hexagon. All right, so I would like you to take a moment. I'm gonna move my head off of the Pentagon here and move this down just a smudge, whoops. And because I want you to pause me and I want you to count, yeah, count all of the sides and the vertices and then turn me back on and we will check them together. So here's my pause face. Hey, welcome back. Okay, so hopefully you actually paused me and did this. Yeah, we'll see, right? Let me get this off my face. Hey, all right, so what'd you come up with this? Yep, square has four, 
the pentagon. Mm -hmm. Five. Well done. Triangle. Yep. Good job. You guys are killing it. All right. Ooh, sorry. That's a weird looking four, isn't it? Exactly. The circle has nothing because in order for it to be a side, it has to be a straight line. See, there are no straight lines over here. Nothing happening there, right? And it can't have any straight lines, so it can't have any corners. Nothing for the circle. All right, so now we're going to talk about symmetry, and symmetry is all around us. So probably if you look in the room that you're sitting in right now, you could see symmetry. Symmetry is means that it has the same thing on one side as it does the other. Your face has symmetry. Okay? Just right down the center, I got an eye over here, I got a nostril, I got an ear. Okay? Everything is symmetrical. If you cut yourself in half, right, you have an arm and leg over here, an arm and leg over here. Um, this picture of a house is symmetrical. This line that goes straight down the middle is called the line of symmetry because that's where you would hold it for both sides to be equal. So let's explore that a little bit more. So here we have three figures. Okay, um, Two of them have symmetry and one of them does not. So let's take a look. What about this? If I fold on this line, will both sides be the same? Yeah, they will. All right, what about this one? If I fold on that line, will both of them be the same? Yeah, they will. Can you find another one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could fold it this way too, right? And I would still have symmetry. Are there more for the square? Good job. I could do this. And yep, you are so right, I could do that. So the square actually has four lines of symmetry. Pretty cool. All right, so what about the last shape, this one? Mm -mm. Because this does not look like that, does it? Is there any way I can cut that, have it equal on both sides? No, no, that random shape has no symmetry. All right, here's a little something for you to explore. I would like you to pause me again. Yep, and then take a look at these figures and figure out where their lines of symmetry are. Some of them have more than one. And then unpause me and we will check together. So this is my pause face this, pause face this time. Hey. Welcome back. How'd it go? Did you find a lot of lines of symmetry? All right, well, let's see how you did. I'm sure you did a fantastic job. All right, we'll start over here with the pentagon. Uh, did you draw this way? No, that's not gonna work because that doesn't look like that, does it? Nope, we're gonna have to have that one straight down the middle, just like that. Hmm? All right, what about the triangle? Can't go that way. Right, I'm gonna have to go that way. Well done. Okay, this is an X. Letters, lots of letters have symmetry, especially capital letters. So take a look at a book. Grab a book, a newspaper, anything you've got laying around and see if you can find some letters and find their lines of symmetry. I'd love to see a picture of that. Um, so the X, straight down the middle, right? And straight across in the middle. Remember, line of symmetry means it's the same in, on one side as it is on the other. I can fold that perfectly. All right, what about this guy? Yeah, it's gonna have to be up and down, right? I can't go across because this top is small, big, yeah, smaller than the bottom. All right, what about the arrow? Mm-hmm, gonna have to do that, aren't I? Oh, sorry, it's a little bit off, but you got the idea. All right, and the star, only that way any other way and it's not going to work out is it so those are our lines of symmetry hopefully they match your lines of symmetry all right and this is the last page and i have a little task for you i've put this website right here monster mansion match um on clever i would love for you to go on clever and um 
play the game and I will get back with you and we can, um, sometimes this just does not work for me. And we can um, have a little quiz tomorrow about geometry, okay? We'll do a little Zoom meeting and hopefully we'll get to see lots of people and answer questions about geometry. So until then, see ya.